This is Medio Mundo. Hi, everyone. I'm Media Mundo Chief Meteorologist Rusty McCraney, and this is your Bahamas forecast. And I got to tell you, the weather has been really splendid in the Bahamas the last couple of days, especially on the northwest side of the Bahamas for Grand Bahama, Lucaya, and Freeport and West End. And we'll see the opportunity at least for a couple of showers developing here for places like Marsh Harbor there in Abaco, Eleuthera down towards New Providence and Nassau. But this is still going to be a mainly dry forecast over the next couple of days. The blue that you see will be some northeast winds picking up. It's going to get a little bit windy, especially as we get into Friday, and then the potential for the winds to die back down a little bit as we get towards the weekend. But again, still a lot of dry locales as we get into the weekend. Now, the one thing we'll be monitoring early next week, and really even over the weekend, is as Tropical Storm Franklin becomes Hurricane Franklin, and even though it's going to be several hundred miles off towards the east, look at these significant waves it's going to start to bring to the eastern side, uh, again, well away from the islands, but it's going to kick up some of those seas that you can see on our chart will be around four to five feet on the eastern sides of Abaco and Eleuthera and the northern sides of Grand Bahama, including up towards Walker's Key. So sea conditions late in the weekend are going to be kicked up a bit as Franklin moves away from the area, again, especially on the eastern and the northern sides of the island. So for mariners, keep that in mind. Now, we're still looking good. This is your tide cycle for our Thursday right now. We'll be coming up on a high tide in the early afternoon hours for Freeport Harbor and Settlement Point. And another low tide later on this evening. Sunset this evening will be at 743. For the marine forecast, not a bad day. Seas running around one to two feet. Do expect those easterly winds to get shoved up a bit for Friday, 15 to 20 knots, seas two to four feet. Windy conditions look for higher seas in the exposed waters of the Atlantic. Water temperature there in Grand Bahama, right around 86 degrees. Speaking of the Grand Bahama forecast, again, it's beautiful. It's hot, 89 degrees, just a 20 to 10% chance of a very isolated storm in the afternoon hours. Feels like temperature, though, pushing 100 degrees in the afternoon with those breezy northeast winds. On the five-day forecast for places like Freeport and Lucaya, uh, and again on over towards West End, about a 20% chance for storms right on through the weekend. So isolated storms, but of course, watch out for the lightning this time of the year. Storm chances come up a bit on Monday. We'll be monitoring some tropical moisture coming in from the south for the opportunity to bring us a higher rain chance beginning early next week. And it's about the same for New Providence and Nassau as well. Even lower chance for storms right on through the weekend. Going to be a beautiful stretch of weather. Plenty of sunshine temperatures there in the upper 80s. But again, as we get into early next week, storm chances for Nassau really ramp up on Monday. It'll be about a 50% chance. For the latest forecast throughout the entire Bahamas, all you have to do is like and subscribe right here. We're Media Mundo.